What's up? So getting back out, fans, I know you guys have been in here before, but we'll just, like, just cap it things off. Yeah, it's cool. You know, the spring game is always fun, and you know, the good thing, the good news is that nobody really loses. You know, that there is no actual loss. There's no stress, no pressure. Just go out there, have fun. You lose, uh, throw the ball all the time. So that's always good. So who wins the best? That's a good question. Because usually, you know, we usually play for, uh, you know, one team. The winner gets the good, like the good dinner. The bad, the loser gets like the bad dinner. That's the thing. We have like a team dinner on Monday. But I don't know how they're going to do it. Because you know? normally someone's got to eat the bad food, someone's got to eat the good food. So maybe, maybe everyone gets to eat the good food. <laughs> or all the bad food. I'm hoping it's the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> What's the good food bad food? Um, it's steak and lobster, and then the bad food is beans and wings. Yeah. And nobody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your comfortability, man, is the spring and some of the stuff you showed out there. How'd you feel about the spring as well in this game? Yeah, um, I thought we had a really good spring. Um, you know, the spring game is always a little bit different because, you know, it's very vanilla, both sides of the ball. Uh, defense, offense, it's going to be a lot of you know, the basic plays. Obviously, we don't want to show too much, you know, on TV. Um, but no, I mean, it's a chance for guys to go out there, especially the younger guys that, you know, just came in and some transfers to go out there and make some plays, see what they can do. So it's always a good time, you know, spring game. can't just yeah, um, just to, you know, never give up. You know, that's one of the, the mottos that we have here at Georgia. Um, you know, have that mental toughness to keep going, have the closure to keep going. Obviously, it's a spring game, so it's not, you know, there's no, there's no pressure. You're just going out there, you're playing. Um, but, I mean, if you can go out there and, you know, simulate and replicate that during the game, you know, it's good practice. Number one quarterback is always, he's always the field. You said what? Your view of that. Oh, I can't believe he caught it. That was crazy. I'm, I'm going to have to see a replay on it. I, I threw it, and the, the wind took it a little bit up. I was trying to throw it back shoulder. The wind took it, and somehow he reached around and grabbed it. And then he played a nice little touchdown. You guys lose some guys, obviously. What do you guys think about the guys you got from the this year? Yeah, um, I mean, every year, you know, we're, we're always going to produce and, you know, put out that product that, you know, Georgia builds. We're always going to have guys go to the draft and leave, but that's why, you know, we recruit so well. We have plenty of guys that are going to come in and be able to contribute um, immediately. And I'm super excited about that, and, you know, we'll, we'll start to get to work uh, more throughout the summer and the next fall. First string guys are not always on the field in the fourth quarter of spring games. Was that discussed on the sideline? Was that because of the game flow? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a spring game. Everybody everybody gets reps, um, see what people can do. It's, we're, we're out there to have a fun time playing in front of the fans, get a chance to play in Sanford. You know, we don't get to do that all the time, but, you know, get guys out there, let them get reps so they can do. Obviously, you got a new guy snapping in the ball this season. What has it been like connecting with Jared, being on the same page as him, just communicating with him? Yeah, um, obviously super excited to see what you know, he's going to do as we get through the summer and then end up getting some fun and start playing games. Um, super athletic, um, very smart. You know, our relationship is continuing to grow. The chemistry there is obviously super important. The relationship between the center and quarterback. So excited to see what he's able to do with the season. How would you assess Gunner's uh, performance today? Um, I thought he did well. I didn't. I didn't really watch the other side too much. You know, I, there was one. I think the first, the first play he had, they threw a shot play, and um, I might sit there, you know, screaming for Gunner, talking about like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? And but it was, he wasn't on my team, so I like, I quick like stopped acting. All the defense was mad at me and stuff. But uh, yeah, anyways, I thought he had a good day. How'd you feel like you played today, Carson? Uh, it, was, it was mediocre. It was all right. Um, Few mistakes, uh, which is fine. You know, trying to do some extra things, maybe trying to force the ball to a few different guys, uh, maybe not making the right reads in certain situations. But overall, this spring, I think you know, offense, defense, special teams, you know, all sides of the ball. Um, we had a really good spring. We got a lot of work in. And obviously, super excited to continue as we go into the summer and fall. You know, what we're going to be capable of. Carson, how about your team chemistry? You think was built with you and the new receivers this spring? Um, I think I think a lot was. Um, I think where the chemistry really gets built is you know over the summer when we're in here, you know, working out and without the coaches um, what can we do you know when coaches aren't there when the coaches eyes aren't there can we're going to come in on the weekend are we going to get you know reps are we going to watch film or are they going to understand what I want them to do and vice versa um, so yeah I think that chemistry will continue to build. Can kind of explain what those summer workouts are going to be I know you're going to be kind of handling that kind of get everybody kind of organized what, what would that look like this summer? Yeah I mean we get to work in the summer um, it's going to be tough and that's, that's how you know that's what we do that's how we like it in Georgia it's going to be it's going to be hard, and we're going to get to work, and you know that's why we produced the product we do on Saturdays. Courtney said at halftime he thought this was maybe the most spirited um, scrimmage of this front for the defense. You had some pressure, some deflections. 
Did you see maybe more spirit, like you said, from them? Um, yeah, I mean, they played really hard, and, you know, they've they been playing pretty well all, all, all spring. I thought it's been pretty even as far as both sides of the ball and getting work, and that's what you're going to get at Georgia. Um, you're going to play against good defense, you're going to play against good offense, and I think that's why, you know, we're able to do so well when we do get to the season and play on Saturday because each and every day we're playing against one of the best defenses and offenses in practice, which sometimes isn't fun. <laughs> Would you say this is the toughest opponent you're going to play all year? Um, I mean, I, I, I think so. And seriously, and in all seriousness, um, it's, it's tough to come out here and you know practice against our defense and vice versa for them to practice against us because there is so much talent on the field and the scheme is so deep. There's so many, so much stuff to prepare for each and every day of practice. So it's it's challenging, but it's going to make both sides of the ball better. Through spring practice and today's scrimmage, what do you feel like is the biggest thing you've learned about this week? Um, then we got a lot, we got a lot of guys that are hungry. You know, there's a lot of guys out there that maybe, you know, haven't gotten to their full potential yet, that haven't gotten to where, you know, they want to reach. And there's a lot of hungry guys that want to work, you know, they want to be physical. Um, and, I mean, that's our, our friend in the ball at Georgia. Um, they want to be physical. We're going to run the ball, pass the ball, you know, stop the run, stop the pass. Um, and obviously, we want to win. Um, so, super, super excited to start getting to work with these guys over the summer and into next season. Christian, what kind of day do you think you had today? It was all right. I thought it was good. Um, you know, obviously it's fun to always get into into uh, Sanford Stadium, play in front of some fans. Um, <clears throat> just try to go out there and have fun, you know. Try to be excited for the guys when the, uh, good things, you know, happen. And, um, you know, try to see the offense and see, you know, what we're capable of. We have a few transfers in there, um, a few new guys, try to get them the ball, see what kind of plays they can make. So, um, obviously, like I've said, uh, excited to continue to, you know, roll and learn off this. It's been a long time since you threw two picks in a day. Um, yeah, probably. Shoot. I don't really count the first one because it got bad. At, but <laughs> second, second one was on me. I thought you know he was going to do something different, and I came back, didn't even really look at it, threw it. You know, it, it wasn't the guy that I thought was in there. Um, but uh, two picks happened, so it doesn't really what, matter. What were your thoughts on the two guys? What did we learn along the way? Um, I could sit here and talk to you for an hour about okay, that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But um, I'll try to give you the, the shortened version. Um, I think the biggest thing is just understanding that you know it takes it takes time to um, you know get to the, the point where we're going to be at the season. If that makes any sense, you know. Um, throughout the January, February, March, you know, there's so much that goes into it. There's so much practice, so much time, so, much, so many hours that we spend together as a team that, you know, that final product that we see, you know, at the very end of the year, it, it takes time to practice. And, you know, that's, this is just one of the, you know, second steps. And we're going to continue that through the summer and then into the fall. Um, but super excited. So it's hard to go. Is it difficult to be patient during that process? Yeah, absolutely. Um, What's the hardest part? Um, I think you just said it, is being patient and, not, and trying not to look forward um, to those moments in the games. So that's that's the, the best part. That's the most fun um, is the games every single Saturday. Get, so getting, getting to go out there and um, perform in front of the fans, play with your guys, but coming in each and every day, going to work, and being present in the moment. You know, not looking at things that have happened, not looking too far into the future, of the things that you want to happen, but being present, coming in each and every day and working. I think that's, a, that's something that we're taking care of in the last year. Carson, what do you make of the, the depth of this wide receiver spot? Like, I don't know if Anthony Evans' names gets mentioned a lot. There's so many, you know, transfers have come in. Like, like you know, how many weapons do you have on the outside? Um, a lot, and obviously that makes my job a lot easier. Um, super excited to see what those guys are able to do as we, you know, continue through. But, I mean, a lot of guys make some really good plays out there on, you know, both sides of the ball, but especially at the wide receiver room. There's so much depth that it really doesn't matter who's out there on the field. We know that, you know, they're going to make the play and we're confident. There have been moment to follow up on the receivers. What is it like to have so many different body types? I guess you've got Colby Young, you've got Anthony Evans, Dylan Bell, like having so many different guys with different skill sets. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different ways that we can attack the defense. But that obviously helps us at the offense immensely. Uh, and there's so many different guys that are going to make plays. And the, th the good thing about it is, is all of them are very selfless. Um, so they're going to go out there, they're going to give their 100% each play that they're out there. And they're going to be happy for the next guy if they're not the one that makes a play. Because they know the next time around, the ball might be coming to them and they got to do it. So, but it, it definitely helps me a lot to have you know, a lot of guys that are going to Carson, what was the difference in the second half? I mean, you, you looked charged up when you came back out there. It looked like a different offense almost. Yeah, I don't know. We um, 
Towards the end of the first half, we were a little slow, uh, a little sluggish. I don't know what it was. You know, it happens sometimes. Um, it's it's not about you know what you do; it's how you bounce back from things. Um, I thought towards the end we started to pick it up a little bit, you know, pick up the pace, and all it was was really a mindset thing for us. I think the second quarter you take that knock back in and you fell down. Was that at all a scary moment, or I know Coach Coach Park came? Oh yeah, he done, he done landed on my leg a little yeah. bit. Um, I just fell with it. Nothing was wrong. I was good. It hurt a little bit. You said did you, get did you just sense like a coach was kind of worried oh about God, what was happening there? Um, nah, I just, I don't, I'm not hearing what he's talking about. You, you mentioned a mindset. Oh, and we've talk, Carson and Kirby talked to you about assertiveness and leadership, and it, it really did look like you were in command. Were you, do you think you had a lot to do with that mindset of the second half? Because you did play with Flair. Um, maybe, yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, I don't, I don't talk too much. I'm not like a super uh, rah-rah guy.